Welcome back. My name is Minister Robert Lee Williams from God's Miracle Ministry Revival. And uh, I want to thank you for tuning in. And I want to give you a dream that I had back on December the 10th, 2018. And uh, it's a very important dream. It definitely spoke to me, and I know it will speak to you as well. But I want to tell you, the day before, on December the 9th, 2018, I went from Kansas City to uh, Dallas, Texas. And I went to a service down there, to my old church, to see a general of God. And his name is Jack Cole Jr. And if people don't know who Jack Cole Sr. is, look him up on YouTube and on Google. You'll find out who he was. Anyway, Jack Cole Sr., he had the world's largest tent revival here in America back in the 1950s. He would go all over America, and he traveled overseas as well. He had a big healing and miracle ministry. And uh, when I found out he was going there to my old church, I went there because I want I wanted a uh, impartation from him. As most of you know, I do have an Azuzu Street revival anointing on my life. I was anointed with the last three bottles of anointing oil that was from the Azuzu Street Revival. This oil was in the glory cloud and in the Shekinah glory. And now I'm able to give out Azuzu Street impartations, pray for people for healings and miracles, and they are following my ministry. But I went there to get an, an impartation. And what I asked for was a full impartation of the healing and miracle ministry. And uh, when I said that to Pastor Cole, you know, his eyes opened up pretty good. He said, you know what you're asking for? I said, yes. And, and he said, God said, you're asking for a hard thing. He said, there's going to be a test. Are you ready for this test? Because the test turns into a testimony. And I said, yes. Why did I go there for that? I went there to, because of the dreams I've getting, that I've had all my life especially when I was in the second grade, seven, eight years old, that one day I saw, I saw myself in a dream. I'd be standing in front of thousands of people praying and preaching and saying, in Jesus' name, you're healed. And the Lord Jesus healed them all right there on the spot. I went there for that. I want to fulfill my destiny. Many are called, but few are chosen. I have been chosen to do this, and plus many other things. And uh, some of you have been chosen as well. We all have our call of God on our life, but we all don't accept it. A lot of us procrastinate. I used to be a big procrastinator. But not anymore. But I want to give you this dream. What I saw in this dream, I saw the Lord standing behind somebody, patting him on the back. He was getting a gift from the Lord. And they had somebody else standing in front of him, another guy. And you could tell he was a little jealous, a little envy about this guy. You know, probably thinking something like this, you know, why is the Lord giving him no giving him this gift and not me? Well, because this guy was more humble than the other person. He was more obedient. 
He didn't try to lift himself up. You know, didn't, you know, he, he stayed humble before God. And um, let me give you some scripture references about being humble before God. If you turn in your Bible, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, they will, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Did you hear that? Pray, seek my face, turn from your wicked ways. Have you turned from your wicked ways? Have you turned away from your sins you might have been doing all your life? Have you consecrated yourself? Have you repented for your sins? Have you went through spiritual deliverance? You know, if you need spiritual deliverance, go to my website at godsmiracleministry.com and you'll see the strongholds and, and spiritual deliverance section and watch those videos. Let me give you another scripture, a Psalms 10, 12. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up thine hands and forget not thy humble. Psalms 10, 17. The Lord has heard thy desire of the humble. Thou will prepare their heart. Thou will cause thine ear to hear. The Lord has heard the desire of the humble. If you're humble, he will hear you. Do you want the Lord to hear you? Want to hear you pray? He'll listen to a humble man better than someone who is not humble. Be humble. Be close to the Lord. Proverbs 29, 23. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in the spirit. That kind of speaks for itself. That's what that dream was about. Don't have pride in your heart. You know, be humble. Let's go to Matthew 8, 4, 18, 4. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as a little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Do you want to be great in the kingdom of heaven? Then you have to humble yourself before God and before man, like a little child. You be humble, and you'll be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. This is not easy sometimes. That's why you're not supposed to have pride in yourself. Let's go to Matthew 23, 12. And who shall ever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Don't exalt yourself. Don't think you're greater than anybody else. You humble yourself before God and he will exalt you. He will put you in front of senior men and women. You will stand in front of hundreds and thousands of people. This is happening with me. I've humbled myself. And I've continued to humble myself. And, and I'm trying to get all the sin out of my life. I want to be holy because he is holy. Let's go to Acts 4, 6. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud but giveth grace unto the humble. Do you want God's grace? Be humble. James 4.10 Humble yourself before the, humble yourself in the sight 
of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. That's what that dream was telling me. Humble yourself before God, and he will lift you up. That's what I want. And that's what I see happening in my life. Because I'm humbling myself. I've, I've been kind of a humble guy most of my life, but not, not always. But I've consecrated myself. I've accepted my call of God. Now, he's chosen me to do a specific task for him. Well, there's many tasks I've got to do. But it comes with a price. God was going to send tests your way. He's sending tests my way. He's already had. Are you worthy of this call? Are you worthy to be a chosen? Can he trust you? He can trust me because I don't want to do anything else in this world except to do the work of the Lord, to do the work of God, what he has called me to do. That's all I want to do. I want to lift up the name of Jesus. I want to bring God's people unto him. And watch what happens. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of healings. You're going to see a lot of miracles. But you know, what is the greatest miracle of all? Is it physical healing? Is it spiritual healing? Emotional healing? What is the greatest miracle of all? <laughs> the greatest miracle of all. Yeah, the greatest miracle is for you to be obedient unto God to help other people. Be a blessing to other people. Bring healing into their lives. Be obedient. You know, I, I want to see the lame walk again. The blind see again. I have this anointing in my life, but I'm waiting on the Lord to finally release me out there full time. I'm ready. I'm, I, I'm just itching to get out there and start doing it because I've seen people get healed already. Just one pastor, 70 years old, touched my shofar back there, which has an Azuzu Street anointing on it as well. He got healed of colon cancer overnight. This lady who had open heart surgery, she healed and recovered from that. And, and, and walks very well for someone about 75 years of age. Other people were healed just by touching the shofar. Electrical shocks come out of that. It's the anointing of God. Prophetic words have come out to a lot of people when they come up and get prayed for by me and by others. Miracles are happening. But see, not a one single miracle would ever happen if I did not humble myself before God. If I puffed up myself before God and before man, he wouldn't lift me up. I'm just telling you my testimony. 
you know, I do stand in front of hundreds every once in a while and blow my shofar. You know, God has placed me where he wants me to be right now. And I thank God for that. But I'm being humble before the Lord. I want to see my destiny fulfilled. And I want to see your destiny fulfilled. Do what God told you to do. Don't put off don't put it off anymore. You be obedient to God. You be humble before the Lord and get into your call of God. We don't have much time left. The Lord is coming back. You see what we're in in the world. You see what's going on in the world. We have to be in place. We have to be ready. Many people are going to feel the churches here at any time now. You're going to see great things happen in the year 2019. The churches will fill up. People are going to want to know what is going on in the world today. We humble ourselves. We accept our call of God and do it. You know, if you need extra prayer, if you need, if you, if you have a desire If, if God has put in a desire in your heart, that you, you're going to be in a healing and miracle ministry also. You want an anointing. I have three great anointings. I have, uh, you know, the Azuzu Street anointing. I have a Jack Cole anointing and a David Terrell anointing as well. He, he also a tent revivalist, had... Instantaneous healings happen in his ministry, and plus other impartations in uh, anointings on my life as well. You want this, then come to where I'm speaking at and get an impartation. Or if you want your congregation, if you're a pastor, you want you and your congregation to have this anointing on your life. You want to be imparted for the ministry like this. If you're serious, you want a healing and miracle ministry, then you call me up and invite me into your church or invite me into your revival. It would be my honor to come and lay hands on your people, on the people of God, to give them an impartation. If you need a miracle or a healing, I will pray for a healing miracle to happen in your life. I, that is my long life term goal. I've always wanted to heal the sick because I'm tired of seeing sick people. Yes, I do want to go one day. I've had dreams I'd be going into hospitals. Me and other ministers and a whole bunch of intercessors will clean out hospitals. I'm ready for that to happen right now. I spent some time in the hospital over my foot operations, as you guys know, if you watch my ministry. You know, I've been in hospitals. I've been in cardiology wards. Yeah, I've had problems with my heart. I just had that over the last few days. I went into AFib again. But, you know, this is just a test. And I'm coming through it. It's given me a testimony. It's given me a new teaching I'm going to be doing here shortly on how to get your heart healed up. How to get more healings into your life. God's opened up my eyes to a whole new teaching realm. Just because I had AFib for the second time in my life. But I just wanted to give you that dream about being humble before God. Be obedient to the Lord right now. There's no time for procrastination. But if you want me to pray for you, or if you want a free prayer cloth, yeah, it's in Acts 19, verse 11 and 12. Send me 
your mailing address, and, and why you need this prayer cloth. And how many prayer cloths do you have? Do you have a, a mom or dad or aunt and uncle or, or a child in the hospital or they're pretty sick and you want a prayer cloth for them? I will anoint that with this anointing oil and I will place it on my shofar back here because it also has an anointing on there. And people are already giving me testimonies of people getting healed instantly. I got people in Africa getting these prayer cloths and they're getting healed. And I thank God for that because Jesus is the healer. It's not Robert Williams. I forget that. It's the Lord Jesus is the healer. I'm just a mouthpiece for God. But if you want one, write to me. You can send it by mail. You can do that by going to my website at God's Miracle Ministry Revival.com. Go to the Contact Me page. You can get my address. My email is there at Robert at God's Miracle Ministry.com. I'll send you one out for free. I'm not asking for any money for this. But, uh,. If you want me to come to your church, I don't care where you're at here in America. As long as the finances are there to get me there and to take care of all my expenses, I'll come. No problem. I can come as many days as you want me. Because right now, my schedule for 2019 is sitting wide open. But I have a feeling it's going to fill up here real quick like. So you better be one of the first ones to sit there and send me an invitation. As if you want to see miracles and healings and a great teaching that the Lord brings. You know, I'm, I'm going to tell you something else. I, out of all those videos I've done, I've got like 345. You know, I, I, I went through all the my computer the other day. And the Lord told me to do this. Get a list of all the teachings that I have teachings ready to go. See, here, here's, here's the list. i got three pages of them. You know, that I can teach on at a moment's notice. I'm ready to come. Just tell me what you need at your church. Is it spiritual deliverance? Get rid of the strongholds? I got a whole series on that I can do. You can see that here on YouTube. Many teachings. I'm here to bless the body of Christ. Well, I'm going to let you go now. And I want to thank you for letting me come into your home or into your job, or if you're sitting there in your car watching the video, or thank you for letting me come in. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button. Well, I'm going to let you go for now. I'll probably do another video right after this. And, and I love you guys, and I hope to see you soon. And stay humble before God. Take care. God bless you. I love you. The Lord Jesus loves you. See you later.